Welcome back to The Reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined, as always, by my co-host, Brian. Come on, everybody. We're back to talk one of our favorites. It is Love Island USA, Season 6, Episode 10, the Friday, June 21st episode. Like and subscribe on here, TikTok, 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 Instagram, Twitter, um, all at The Reality, guys. Brian, we were looking in to finish where the uh, kissing challenge, right? We were looking to find out uh, the recoupling that was indicated during the episode, kind of the fallout uh, from our newest bombshells arrival. Uh, do you want to start with our elimination or do you want to start with the bombshell? I think we go bombshell because I really think it was really just bombshell and then recoupling, in my opinion. What are your thoughts on him? I mean, he's just the new toy, honestly. I mean, everyone went made made the rounds. Uh, even got some eggs made for him, which caused, I think, some really stupid drama. But oh, I mean, egg game was egg game was intense. Look, I, I'm I'm pro I'm pro Janae here. I, I think Serena is she's like probably my least favorite person next to Rob in the villa. I I did think it was there were intentions there, right? Miguel was new, and like you should, like said, it's like if you were I love the things like if you were coming to bring him eggs because he was hungry. Then like I I understand, but that's not why you brought him eggs. It's like well, hey. there was a conversation beforehand that she was going to do it. It just yeah. It does she know that no? But the, the, she's just kept the way she. I don't know. I just saw a lot of clips of just like moving in the her. shadows. What's that? Since she was moving in the shadows a little bit on that, and I, you know, and I, I just, I don't really, also don't like her because of what she's doing to Cordell. Uh, so she, I don't, yeah. want, I don't like it at all. We, we're very protective of Cordell. Cordell's uh, worst trait and really only negative trait in the whole season is that he's like a shy, nice guy, right, with like a normal body count, and um, just happens his brother happens to be a cousin happens to be a wide receiver, but like you know. I don't I, I like I said to Brian pre-show, we were kind of talking about how we're defensive of him. And I my gut reaction is to agree fully with Brian on this, right? I don't know about her intentions because she already threw him away once. The answer to that question will come. We're on episode 10, right? So I'm gonna say episode 16. If she's still with him by episode 16, then like okay. Like, cool, interesting story, a little bit hot and cold, and then she realizes he's a good guy, and maybe they make it. But even if we get to, like, day six, episode 16, like, we're still got to get the cost of a war, right? Like, there's just, like, a lot there, and I haven't seen enough, like you, to think that his heart is safe right now. And even just, like, the, the way that the guys even brought up to him that, like, hey, we just got text about recoupling, and now she, like, wants to give you another chance. I mean, that... Even if it's true, no. It's, it's there's there's a lot there's gameplay to that. I it's a survival mode. I don't know. I, I don't know. Is she vibing with it? I mean, I, I would have personally picked Hannah if it was me, but I, I just I don't I don't agree with his move there. Uh, natural segue there, Brian Hannah eliminated from Love Island USA. I was a big fan of her. Uh, it seemed like every no one had a negative thing to say about her and. This seems like, I mean, you know this better than anyone. You've seen more seasons than me, but there's always like a girl or two pretty early in these seasons that for whatever, better or worse, end up getting friend zone. I mean, she did shit talk her guy a little bit wrong in that, in the game early on and upset him, right? Like a few, you know, early on in the season. So, I mean, there, yeah. there were mistakes made, I guess you could say, but I thought she was authentic. I thought she's funny. I'm actually looking forward to hopefully to her being maybe on that. Uh, after Sun. Yeah, yeah, the After Sun show tomorrow. Yeah. So, I mean, it'll be a good life. She definitely will. Yeah, I mean, I just I don't know. I think she has more personality than a lot of the other girls in the villa. I want her to stay. Because at this point, what's Leah's personality? It's Rob, complaining about Rob. And it's just, I don't know, man, just like... <laughs> When I was waiting for you to get on, I was just looking at Twitter and just like so many tweets about like they just like a breakdown of like when Connor was giving his lame ass speech and like throwing jabs at Janae and like Con she was looking at Rob for a reaction. He's just so dumb. He's just standing there like Ugh, like not even paying attention whatsoever. It's just like I don't know. She was all they also showed like a clip of Connor and Leah being mad that um, Hakeem chose Janae. So it's just I don't know, man. I, I don't like him. 
I don't think Leah gets off. Like I said on these previous reviews, she had a like a statute of limitations for her like complaining and stuff. And today was my limit, and she did it again. And so I'm over it. I'm over her complaining. I'm over her feeling victimized. I'm over her running around. I I felt bad for her. It did kind of stink, but now it's time to just move on. You have somebody that at least is expressing interest. You have Connor. Now, do I think that he would jump on her too? I think he would. And I think that may be what ends up happening, frankly. Um, I'm, I'm, do, what do you think? Do you Which one of those two do you think she's end up jumping on him first? Or do you think she's going to jump on him? I mean, I think they both can definitely jump. My fear of her is if she's holding on to this Rob connection, like I don't want her to jump back to Rob. Like say like oh, somebody God. comes in and catches Andrea's eye and like she's like interested and then like she goes, I, I, I don't want that story. I don't want that redemption arc. No, no, no. That re- Fuck that redemption arc, dude. Sorry for that. that at all. Like, fuck that redemption arc. I don't Sorry. want that at all. Not even close, dude. Not even close. Ugh. I hate his overalls, man. Like I, he's This is the second or third time he's worn them in 10 episodes. I, I hate him. What is, why is he wearing that? They're not cool. They're not cool. They're lame as F. I'm actually on Twitter right now, and I'm and first pick second picture on Twitter on Instagram. I mean, right now is him. At, oh my god! Is it the coupling like him and Andrea? It's like the couple pictures. Yeah, it's him, him and Andrea picture. Which I'm my segue is good because um we have our first vote. The people like I know that like that's the time you guys watch this video, it's gonna be over. But hopefully you interacted. Pay attention in the episodes. Is my point. Vote for your favorite couple now. I'm going to vote for my favorite couple. I don't even know. I'm going to look I voted already. Montana. So you have until 1230 Eastern time. So right now we're recording this. It's 1116 currently me talking Eastern time PM. So I will hopefully have this out before midnight. So you can have, at least if you're watching it quickly, you have 30 minutes to vote. Who did you vote for? I am registered. It's making me register again. I don't understand yeah. my code. Goofy ass Love Island. Thing. Here's the problem, man. I was going through that list of people. All right, here we go. Andre not. and Rob, zero shot in hell. Janae and Akeem, no. Kayla and Aaron, neutral. Lee, Lee and Connor, zero. Nicole and Kendall, I guess neutral. Dude, there's no good couples. Well, that's what I was about to say. I went through that list when I voted, like right after the episode ended, and I was like, I don't like a lot of these couple i don't it's really just one person in each couple i don't like and i will say my hakeem stock is going back up that was a little hard on in the last few episodes but like i i he went no, i was honestly torn between janae and hakeem and nicole and kendall i ended up voting for nicole and kendall that's literally who i just voted for because there ain't no way i'm voting for aaron and kayler no, I voted for nicole and, and, Rob and, Andrea. and it's nothing against andre it's just rob but I mean, she's just like during the speech, she's like Rob saying all these weird things, and it's just like, why are we di- why are we throwing like such digs at these girls? I don't, I don't get that. These guys, I don't understand it. And then so you can't vote for Miguel and live. <laughs> the vote leading into the getting dumped tonight was heavily on Hannah. It was like sixty something percent. So oh uh, yeah, okay. keep, that's and I'm not voting. For, and I'm not voting for Serena. People were right for Cordell in a second, but if it was Cordell and Janae I, or Cordell and Hannah, I probably would have voted for them. I agree. Um, overall, not a bad episode. This string of this is probably the weakest of like the last like three, but even not a bad episode. Um, let's go over the new recouplings. You want to read? Yep. All right. Now, uh, first was Aaron. Well, here's it for real quick. It was really weird that Miguel didn't choose first as a boss. That's an that interesting point. Probably because I'm wondering if they have to say who they're picking beforehand and they reorganize it to a way. They probably do. And when we find out who Miguel picks, it probably wasn't like groundbreaking. Yeah. So that's why they did. That's the only hypothesis I have on that. Like, it's just, it was weird to me that Miguel did not go first. Anyways, um, yeah. Because he also had so many options. So, like, he would have set the board. No, you're right. I think it's a very good point. He should have gone first. So um, we had Aaron, Aaron choosing Kayla, no surprise there. Kendall yep. choosing Nicole, no surprise there. Rob yep. choosing Andrea, no surprise there. Connor choosing Leah, um, I mean, not really surprised. I, I just I didn't love the shots fired between him and Rob at their at their ex girl. I didn't I unnecessary them. ricochet so shot. So dumb. Like what are the, these they're guys? Losers, are just, they're not dude. shit. What are we doing here? Losers. It's supposed to be a positive island. 
yeah, Miguel and Liv, which was, I mean, really, where were you, where were you here? I was kind of, he was, I was torn between he was going to pick, um, I honestly thought he could pick Hannah. I thought so. That was, I thought that was also a possibility, but so turns out she got friends in. Yeah. So Miguel Liv, Hakeem chose uh, Janae, and Cordell chose Serena, which I thought he was also going to pick Hannah just based off his speech and then didn't, but I don't know. It's going to be interesting. We have tomorrow night off, obviously, everyone. So we'll be back Sunday night. Uh, we will have, I looks. Like, do you think we'll get the female dumping? Well, not the female dumping. Do you think, well, I guess we'll at least find out who's vulnerable on Sunday. Uh, maybe. Sunday or Monday. From the voting, you think we might? Yeah, yeah I think, I think it might. Yeah, I thought it was like a two-day delay, but we'll see. Sunday yeah. or Monday. Either way, uh, we'll be here both days. But if you are looking for other reality TV coverage, we have the season finale of Perfect Match Season 2 from Netflix. Our candid thoughts on that. If you're a Netflix fan, also The Mole returns next week. Uh, the first six episodes, Brian and I will be covering that. Going into July, The Bachelorette, Claim the Fame, also return. Uh, and like I mentioned at the top of the video, if you're a Love Island UK fan, Brian has got you covered there. So like and subscribe. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, X, whatever, uh, all the reality guys. But for myself and Brian, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace.